Welcome everyone. Uh, my name is Susan and we're going to do a nice little 30 minute Pilates class on the mat today. All right, so we're going to start with our breathing. Uh, into Pilates stance, heels together, feet into a V. Now, the breathing is in through the nose, out through the mouth. And every time you exhale, I want you to engage your core. So basically suck your gut in when you exhale. A loud forceful exhale like the letter H in hollow. Or if you want to um, visualize that you're blowing out a candle or maybe fogging up a window. That's your power, all right? So we're going to start with a little warm-up, all right? So the first few breaths, there's a few other things I want you to engage. So on the exhale for the first four breaths, don't worry, I'll cue you on that. Thighs together, pelvic floor, bring it up nice and tight. Buttocks tight. Belly button to spine. And I want you to visualize that you've got a belt and you're tightening. So you're knitting the ribs together just for the first few breaths, all right? Let the arms hang, relax the shoulders, let's breathe, inhaling through the nose, out into the chest. Exhale, <sighs> tight, breathe. Exhale, squeeze everything as tight as you can, keep going. <sighs> One more. And those are called pillars or press points. So release the heels, roll the shoulders out. So the rest of the warm up, the rest of the class, I want you to focus on just belly button to spine. All right, and I'll remind you always. Okay. So let's do a warm up. Inhale up. Exhale. So this is going to warm up the body. Keep going, inhaling up, and helping you connect with your breath. One more time, up, and perfect. All right, roll the shoulders up. Let's do a calf raise. So the calf raises, you're gonna come up onto the balls of the feet, and come all the way back down, all right? This is working on balance, coordination, the strength of the toes, the feet, the ankles, the calves, of course, the legs. And also, I need you to just find yourself a focal point, a little spot right on the floor, and that'll really help you with your balance, all right? Now, position of the arms. You can have your arms here if that helps. But if you want, you can bring them all the way up. Bring them all the way down. All right, ready? Let's go. Inhale up. And come all the way up. Now, press down the balls of the feet. Dig those toes in. One more. Up. And down. And that's it. Roll the shoulder. Now shake the legs out. Roll the ankles. Release those calves. All right. Perfect. Let's do another one. Arms to the side of the body. Standing nice and tall. Inhale. Arms back. Look over the right shoulder. Exhale. Arms down. To the left. This is just warming up the shoulders. A gentle neck stretch and also releasing the chest. Keep going. Inhale. And again. And, all right, that's it. Roll it out. Sorry. I'm trying to suppress the sneeze here. All right, perfect. Let's do one more. This one again is focusing on your balance, the strength of the foot, the ankle, and the leg. Now, let me show you this one here. What we're going to do is I really want you to get your left foot anchored into the floor. We're going to lift the right one up and down. Now, don't worry if you can't get your foot very high off the floor. Don't worry about it. I don't want you to feel like you have to come all the way up here. I can do this, but if you can't, here, all right? Like I said, if you find you're getting a little bit wobbly, put your other leg down, reposition your foot, try to relax, all right? Find your focal point in front, standing tall. Now the position of the arms. You can have them again to the side to help you with your balance, but if you want to go a little further, you can try doing this with genie arms, all right? Let's go. Ready? And up. Again, up. Next time you bring it up, stay here. Breathe. Belly button to spine. Don't forget. One more breath. Bring it down and relax. And shake it out, roll the shoulders. Let's see if we can do the other side. Get that right foot nice and anchored into the floor. Standing nice and tall, roll the shoulders out. Position the arms wherever you need them. Let's go, inhale up. And And 
and one more time. Stay here and breathe. One more. And down. All right, that's it for the warm up. Roll it up. Shake out the legs. All right, let's get ourselves onto our back. And we're going to start with a pelvic tilt. So, onto your back. Back is anchored. Knees are bent. All right, feet are about a 45 degree angle. So what I need you to do here is make a diamond with your fingers. Index fingers together, thumb together. And I need you to put the index finger right on the tip of the pubic bone, thumb goes just above your belly button. Let me show you this one here. So this one here is isolating the pelvis from the hips. So the position you're in right now, you should have a little bit of a pelvic lower, uh, lower back curve. All right, so you're gonna just rock the pelvis up. Your back is gonna be flat, and then you're gonna rock it down to a little bit of a curve in your lower spine. That's it, it's not a big movement, all right? So having your hands here is gonna help you move, feel the movement of your body, all right? So we're gonna do five of these, all right? This is very gentle, like I said, isolating the pelvis from the hips. This is really good to release your lower back. If you have issues with your lower back, you've got cramps or just a tight back, this is a nice gentle stretch. This one here you can do as many as you'd like, but we're only gonna do four today. And let's go, inhale up, exhale. You don't have to keep your hands here, you can put them here if you want, but it's just nice to be able to feel the movement of your body. And up, inhale up, exhale. One more time, up. And that's it. All right, let's give ourselves a hug. And we do a lot of stretches between now, when we do stretches like this, it's normal breathing, all right, just to release the tension as it accumulates and slow everything down. Give yourself a hug and rock. And just release that lower back, stretch that lower back out. All right, perfect. So we're gonna do another one, all right? So this one here is, um, we did pelvis, we uh, isolate the pelvis from the hip. Now we're gonna isolate the hip from the pelvis, all right? So we're gonna do a, call it a knee circle. So I want you to keep the left foot on the floor you're gonna bring the right one into table. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna inhale around and exhale to center, that's it. Now this is all about mobility, moving the hip, range of motion of the hip, all the muscles around the hip, lubricating the joint and the socket. Now, if you have issues with your hips, take it easy. You don't have to whip it around. It doesn't have to be a big circle. A small circle is fine. So we're gonna do three one direction and three the other direction. If you get tired, stop. Straight your leg and rest. Don't be shy, all right? Let's go, right leg. Adjust your shoulders, make sure you're comfortable. Let's go, inhale around. Exhale, pause, go again. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, belly button to spine. One more. Stop, Lay. Uh, rest your leg, just straighten it out quickly. Just release it, and then let's do it again. Lay back to table. Let's go to the other direction now. Inhale around. Now, if your hips are nice and loose, and you're a little stronger, you can do a bigger circle, absolutely. But if you do, make sure that your back doesn't start wiggling around. All right, I want you to feel really anchored to the floor. Nothing is moving but that hip and that leg, and rest. All right, straighten. Now you can straighten both legs if you want. Bring your arms over your head, stretch your body out. If you want to do a quick little hug to release the lower back, absolutely, all right? And let's see if we can do the other side now. So keep the right foot on the floor, bring the left one into table, make sure you adjust yourself, you're comfortable, and we're gonna do four on both directions. Choose the direction you wanna start with. I'm gonna go this way, inhale around, and Try to relax, follow the rhythm of the breath, let your breath guide you, keep it going. Don't hold your breath and don't forget to breathe. And straighten that leg. Just straighten it quickly, stretch it out, and we'll do it again. Back up, it's a quick little stretch. And other direction, um, I can't remember which direction we went. Let's go, inhale around. Inhale, exhale, belly button, spine. Get a nice movement, really loosen up those hips. 
isolating the hips from the pelvis and down, straighten the legs, straighten both legs out. If you want, bring your arms over your head, lengthen your body. If you want, you can have your arms to the side, it doesn't matter. And then don't forget to release that lower back. So our Pilates class is strengthening the core muscles, the abdominals, but also your lower back. Everything works together, all right? Now let's do a nice bridge pose. I want you to bring your heels nice and close to your sacrum, okay? So what that's going to do, let me show you, then I'll tell you why we need to be in this position. Now, shoulders are nice and relaxed, arms on the foot. What we're going to do here is you're going to press down the feet. You're going to squeeze your buttocks. You're going to bring your hips up. And then come down all the way. All right, now, having your feet close to your sacrum area, what it's doing is it's lining up the heels to the knee. So this way you've got a really nice, strong, safe structure. So when you push down on your feet, you can squeeze your glutes a bit. Get your hips, they're not gonna get very high, so don't worry about getting right up to the ceiling. Just get them off the floor. But when you come down, try to hover if you can, all right? We're gonna do that four times, and then we're gonna keep it up for four breaths, all right? So do what you can. Now this is gonna work on, you're gonna feel it into your quads, your hip flexors. This is working on flexibility of the spine, all right? Ready, let's go. Inhale up, and Again, keep going up. <sighs> Try to relax. Keep the breath going. Inhale all the way up. And <sighs> belly by the spine, suck your gut in on the way down. The next time you come up, stay here. Breathe. Press on the feet. Squeeze those buttocks. <sighs> One more breath. <sighs> come all the way down. Slowly, gently relax your back. Now, let's counterpose that spine right away. Bring the knees up and just rock gently. You don't have to go too much. You're gonna find the, the place in the stretch that is perfect for you. Some people have to have a big, you know, really hug to get a deep stretch. Some people just, just get into the position and that works. You're gonna find that, whatever feels good for you. All right, perfect. Straighten your legs again quickly. Stretch your body out. All right. So we're going to do one more while we're here. So, I want you to bring your legs up, all right? Normally I have a strap to show you, but I, for some reason I don't have my strap today. So, having a little strap or a belt or a tie or something, if you have a hard time getting your legs up here, it takes a lot of core strength to keep these heavy legs up here. So if you have a strap, you can put it on your feet and you can hold on to it and that'll help you move your legs around, okay? So we're going to do an open V. So we're gonna open the legs as wide as the mat and close. Ready, let's go. Inhale, heels up, exhale. Open. Two more. Open, this is working the inner thigh. Of course, a lot of core strength. The next time it's open, stay here and breathe. One more. Close, bend feet on the floor and rest. Stretch it out. A little bit of fire in the belly with that one. All right. Perfect. Now from here, we're going to get ourselves to a seated position. Come up nice and slow into a seated position. All right. So we're going to do a nice little roll down. All right. So from here, roll the shoulders out. All right. So get comfortable on your mat. All right. Perfect. Now with the, in the Pilates class, you can use your yoga mat. Um, I have these little pads that I've cut out for my students. Um, if you need extra cushioning underneath your sacrum, underneath your knees or your wrists, this is actually a Pilates mat. So it's a little bit thicker. So with Pilates, you can have a thicker mat, no problem. All right, yoga you can, yoga you need a yoga mat. So I have actually two, they're kind of doubled up. So a little bit thicker if you want. All right, now let's go with our roll downs. Sitting nice and tall. Now make sure your back stays straight. Your neck is long and you're looking forward. Let me show you this one here. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna inhale back and up, all right? If you don't have a lot of core strength, if your belly's a little bit of fire right now, don't worry if you can't go very far back, okay? Even if you just move a little bit. It's the position you're in, all right? Keeping your back straight. You're gonna feel it in your quads. You're gonna feel it into your hip flexors as well but this is all working 
a little fire in the belly, and all the back muscles as well. Everything keeps you nice and strong and balanced, all right? Now, try not to roll your head forward around your shoulders. So, like I said, back is straight. So we're gonna do five, we're gonna stay down for five. So pace yourself. If you wanna try a couple that are a little bit lower, and you're getting a little shaky, a little tired, just reduce your movements. And if you have to stop and rest, if you can only do one or two of them and that's it, open and come here. And this is where we're gonna to come to rest, all right? So I want you to do quality over quantity. So if you could only do one and then, you know, you start losing control, because it's all about control and precision, that can you need to stop, okay? But you will get stronger as you get on in your practice. Let's go. Inhale down. And nice and slow, follow the rhythm of the breath. It's not a race. Control, precision, concentration, centering, and breath. Five principles of your Pilates practice. Belly, butt, spine, that's your power. When you exhale and you engage that, there's so much power there. So following the rhythm of the breath. Now, the next time you lean back, wherever you are, stay there. One more, and up, all right, lots of fire there. And gently open up your knees. Now you're gonna rest, now you can bow your head. And just let your shoulders go limp. Rest your belly, rest your back, your shoulders. Just relax, bow your head, breathe. Slow the breath down, slow down the heart rate. We take a lot of little stretches in between, so don't be shy, take the time to rest. And then you know what? And then you ready to do a little bit more. All right? So those are roll downs. So now we're going to try a roll up. We're going to try a full roll up today. All right? So if you can't do a roll up, then I want you to come back and do some more of these. All right? This is the warm up to the roll ups. All right? The roll downs. So uh, let me show you this one here. These ones here apparently are the easiest ones. So that's what some people say. <laughs> All right, arms are down, and you go. Now the same thing is when you were doing this one here, you know when you get the spot and you come up? Well, when you start from the floor, it's the same thing. When you get to that little same place, that's when you kick it in. That's when you engage the core, and that's when you exhale, all right? So give it a shot if you want. And like I said, if it's not gonna happen, if your legs are all over the place and the breath is all sideways, come here and work on this one a little longer. So you really have to get a little bit more strength into your belly. All right, so I'm gonna do four of these. This is a full roll up. grab your ankles to get a little extra stretch. I'm going to show you another version of this one here that makes it just a little bit tougher for those of you. Now the roll-ups and the roll-downs, you can do as many as you'd like. Roll-ups, you can do, you know, 5, 10, even 15 if you'd like. All right. Now I'm going to show you another way to do this that makes it just a little bit more challenging for those of you who want to try that. Inhale up and stay. Hold it and then come up. So when you come up here, if you want to try that, you would hold your breath and then exhale. So this just makes it a little bit more challenging if that's what you need to do, all right? So what we're going to do now is uh, one called the bottom walk. So from the seated position. So this particular one here, maybe I'll do it this way so you can see what I'm doing, is specifically for, uh, they call it a bottom walk for your bottom, for your buttock and your thigh, your quad, your hip flexor, but focusing on the bottom. All right, so I'll do a quick little demo. I'll show you this one here. So two ways that you can sit. You can have your hands along the side of your hips. You can lean back, 
if you prefer to do it that way or if you want you can do this with genie arms so what you're going to do is you're going to slide the heel up and then slide it down so to the cusp of the knee if you can't get it this high along the side of the calf is just fine now the position of the knee when you come up, I don't want your knee whipping out here. If your knee comes out a little bit, because that's just the way everything is set up, that's fine. But not out here. All right? So, um, do what you can with this one here as well. I'll do mine with genie arms. Right leg, let's go. Back is straight. Inhale up. And, and this is called the bottom walk. Inhale up. And... Two more. Inhale up. And then bring it up. Stay here. Breathe. And down. Release the arms. Roll the shoulders out. All right. If you're okay, let's try this side here again. You know, one side of the body is always stronger. It's easier to work with. It's more balanced, you know. So maybe this side... You can't get your foot to the cusp of the knee. Maybe you can only get it up a little bit. That's okay. That's why we do both sides, keeping things balanced. So work with what you can, all right? Like I said, don't force your body to do anything. If it's not going to feel good, if you're going to, you know, aggravate a condition or cause any pain, please, you know, be very careful in how you move your body. And don't do it if you can't or if it's, um, like I said, aggravate any condition, all right? So keep that in mind always. Let's go. Inhale, left leg. And keep the breath going. Let that breath guide you. Inhale up, fill those lungs up. Exhale, power. And then bring it up and stay here. Breathe. And down and relax. Roll the shoulders up. Let's take a little rest. Open up the knees a little bit and just round your back and bow your head. Just try and relax your body. That's what the little rest is for. It's not a long rest. Like I said, it's to release the tension as it accumulates. All right, perfect. Okay. So bring yourself up. Now from, from here, we're going to get into our, um, onto our hands and knees. So this might be where you need extra padding for the knees or the wrists, okay? So I always provide these for my students. And you can use um, a, a thin blanket or a thin um, towel if you want. Now with your wrists, if this bothers your wrists, if you don't have the upper body strength or the strength, you can go on your fists and that changes the angle of the wrist, all right? So let's do a couple of cat and cows. So this is our table. We do this as well in our yoga class. Line everything up. And head level with the spine. This is just a stretch. So bring your head up, sacrum up, C scoop spine. And then arch the back, chin to chest, belly by the spine. Try to relax your thighs, keep going up. Cat and cow lengthening, releasing the spine, the upper back. This is a wonderful stretch for your lower back. One more, up. And neutral position. From here, let's get into our little shell. So I want you to open your knees and just lean back, rest on the forearms, and just bow your head. So this is called the shell. It is also a resting neutral stretch. You don't have to put your head on the floor. It's similar to the child's pose, but it's just a stretch. So you're just resting. This is a nice little stretch, especially for your lower back and your spine, your buttocks, your hips as well. It's a, basically a whole body stretch. All right, perfect. So from here, I want you to bring yourself up and let's do one more. Let's get onto our bellies. Now. And we're gonna do some swimming. So I want you to bring your arms up. So make sure your pelvis and hips are nicely anchored into the floor. You should be looking at the floor. So what we're gonna do is bring the lift opposite. So we're gonna work with upper body and lower body coordination. Left arm, right leg is gonna come up and then down. Now, don't worry if you can't get it very high off the floor. Just get them off the floor. Now, when you lift your leg off the floor, you're really going to feel a lot of tension into your buttock, and that's exactly what you should feel. So you use your power of your glute, your hamstring, 
not so much the lower back. Even though we're strengthening the lower back, try not to use it to lift your leg. Use that nice strong glute. All right? So we're going to do four on each side. All right? Again, left arm, right leg. Make sure your head is level with your spine so you don't strain your neck. Let's go. Inhale up. And try to hover if you can. If you have to tap, that's fine. Up. Inhale up. And the next time you bring it up, stay here and breathe. One more. Down. Relax. Let's see if it's go right to the other side. Right arm, left leg. Let's go. And the next time it's up, stay here. Keep breathing. And down. All right. Perfect. And that's it. Now, let's really stretch everything out. So come up into your shell very slowly. From this point, your back is probably really, really tight. So moving very gently into your little shell. And just let your body unwind, decompress, and uncoil those tight muscles. Sometimes getting out of, a, out of an exercise into your stretch is just as challenging because your body's really tight. So you just ease yourself into your stretch. Don't force it, just let, your, let it happen. And your body's gonna get, create that muscle memory as well. It's gonna know what it needs to do to just rest. All right, let's come back up to table. Curl the toes, let's get up to standing. Come up nice and slow. All right, roll the shoulders, shake it all out. Let's do a few stretches and we're done. All right, nice wide V. Now this is all normal breathing. So let me back up so you can see me here. All right, and V lateral stretch, reach up and over. Lengthening this whole side of your body. This is gonna stretch everything out. Normal breathing, relax, reach. Let's go to the other side. This is really gonna work your core muscles, even as a stretch, just moving your body from side to side. It's a lateral flexion of the spine as well, moving the spine from side to side. We moved it forward, we moved it back. So keeping our spine nice and flexible and releasing all the muscles up and down the back. Come up, bring the right arm up, all the way, reach. If you want, you can go into a back bend or not. And let's get ready for V-straddle split. Come down, now hinging at the hips. You can open up your legs wider, fingertips, knuckles, hands on the floor. If you want, bend your knees. This is just a stretch, so don't worry about it. Bend your knees if you'd like. And if you find this is gonna make you dizzy, come up halfway, put your hands on your knees, and you can do it this way as well. V straddle split, a full body stretch. Walk your hands to the left. The closer you get to the left foot, the deeper the stretch you feel into the left hamstring, Inner thigh of the right leg, right side of the body. Let's go to the center and go to the other side. Back to center. Bend the knees, come up very slowly. Reverse the blood flow so you don't get dizzy. All right. Legs together. And we're done. Give yourself a big hug for coming out. Clap for your friends and we're all done. Thank you so much for joining me. And it was a pleasure. And uh, we'll see you soon.